put a group I put a group of eight adults into a limo. Uh, each one of them has a designer bag filled with gourmet munchies. And they also have a little bag, a little stash bag with smoking paraphernalia because they're not traveling with this. And then it is stocked with natural colas and water and such. Within 15 minutes, they make their first buy because what they're here for is to get high. And then they start smoking. And I, it's hard to explain to them that this is one hit stuff. And that, you know, we really advise them. And that's also the other role of the concierge is to make sure they do not consume too much. Because after that first hit, this group of responsible but mature professionals who more than likely have children and grandchildren or grandchildren in college, they turn into a bunch of giggling college freshmen and it just goes downhill from there. <laughs> so we're on our way to Ganja Gourmet, which um, sells edibles. Uh, they started out as a restaurant, but that did not last the way our laws went. And they recently have decided to add a recreational side and a medical side, so they do all kinds of, they got medicated hot sauce. Oh, I do. I got some, some green crack. Oh, let's see. Check that out. Mm. It's nice and white. Yeah. And there's a couple of different kinds. This one is straight cannabis uh, cooking oil, so straight canola oil. My purpose with the concierge was choosing concierge that have a, that are medical marijuana patients and that are also activists, so that they could educate and answer any of the questions of my guests. But what we have found so far is the guests don't really care about any of that. What they want is just to have that same experience as the first time when they smoked this back in the basement or the dorm room. What we're doing now, uh, my carrier is obviously going to be a little bit of butter. We're just going to incorporate that in. Um, so let me get a little bit here. So you just reduce the balsamic, put a little bit of your cannabis butter in there. <clears throat> we got some rosemary leaves. They're coming to you know experience life living in the future. They tend to be my parents' age, uh, my age or older, and. For somebody like that to come in whose only memory is that weed brownie somebody's friend made in college that got them really super high, uh, this is a whole new world. This will be a little bit easier to see. You know your guests best. So if you're doing this for a party, you know, if your friends like to eat marijuana, then you'd have them dip it. If they don't and you just want to get a little buzz, drizzle it on there for them. You know, but definitely know who you're giving this to because... People are very susceptible to this type of stuff, and, and it's not just their body reacting to it. It's everything they've heard about it and everything that they've experienced. So it's a very, it's a very complex thing. You make your normal sauce, you make your normal reduction. This class, paper bowls. Less dishes later. Yeah, right? Delicious. This is yours, so we'll just keep it separate oh, for now. Okay. First cooking class, I'm 67 years old and it's a week class. What a hoot, right? <laughs> right? What, what could be better? <laughs> So 
It was easy, quick, easy to understand, and I think the products turned out really good. And I just kind of, you know, used to cook experiment back in the day, and I, I really didn't have any professional help, so it's awesome to get to learn how to actually actually do this professionally.